But first, thick black smoke and heavy flames fill the air after a private jet from Philadelphia crashes near a small airport. From above, burned out rubble is all that remains. Two crew members on board that plane were killed. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. That plane took off from Philadelphia International. It was en route to Teterboro Airport in New Jersey, just outside New York City. It crashed less than a mile from the runway. A surveillance video captured the crash. You can see the plane smashing into the ground, erupting into a ball of fire. Now the work begins to figure out why the aircraft went down. Our Greg Argos is near Teterboro Airport tonight with more. Greg. And Yuki, tonight we've learned that Learjet left Philadelphia International Airport at 3.04 this afternoon. It crashed 26 minutes later, 3.30 in the afternoon here near Teterboro Airport, like you mentioned, just outside of New York City. Normally a very busy time of day, and though the pilot were told and one crew member were killed, officials say it's a miracle no one else died. A quiet, clear afternoon in Carlsbad, near Teterboro Airport in Bergen County, New Jersey. Tower, uh, your jet just crashed. Airport's closed, airport's closed. Pierced by the deafening explosion of a Learjet crashing just a quarter mile from the runway. It was like if a, a missile just came down, and it's just shocking to have something like that near our neighborhood. It came in and it bellied up and went upside down and landed on its roof and skidded after it hit the top of a building and then skidded into the building adjacent to it, blowing up cars and anything in its path. This surveillance video shows the moment of impact, a large fireball consuming the jet. Investigators say killing two people inside. That smoke could be seen for miles after the jet smashed into an industrial area around 3.30 this afternoon. The plane had taken off from Philadelphia International Airport at 3.04 and was on approach to Teterboro. No passengers inside, just the pilot and one crew member. The medical examiner is on the site now working on identifying the uh, the deceased members of the of the plane. The flames spreading to two nearby buildings, including the borough of Carl's dad's Department of Public Works. Incredibly, the last employee left for the day just minutes before the crash. The building had just closed for the day and actually I was saying my car was parked where the plane has landed. Chopper 3 capturing this video of the damage as investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration pieced together what led to this deadly accident. So still an active scene here in Teterboro near the airport. Once again, investigators trying to figure out what happened. We're told conditions were clear at 3.30 this afternoon. The wind was blowing at more than 40 miles per hour. We're live here in Bergen County, New Jersey. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.